My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today, oh, fuck you. I've been trying to hold off, right? <laughs> I've been trying to not Let me bring this over here so I can prop myself up. I've been trying to not do this video, <laughs> but fuck me. Don't really care what it looks like. Well, no shit. <laughs> Um, oh for fuck's sake, it's the tool, so... <laughs> which, who is the biggest and which is the biggest tool in Del Boy's garage, for fuck's sake. The shit that goes on... It just, oh, I just, I just don't get it. So, what's my, what's your problem Matt? You know, you're whinging again. Yes I am fucking whinging. If you are watching Del Boy's garage and you want to know about fabrication and how to build stuff and all the rest of it, just fucking switch off, or just watch it for the comedy value. Oh. So, this is not how you drill holes. And this is not how you use a countersink. So, the, the list is endless, the list is endless. He cuts out brackets and then he wants to radius the edge of them, so he uses a, he uses a linisher, of course. No, he doesn't, he gets his hand files out. Fine, if you want to do that, you know, but what is the point in having a belt sander slash linisher? Linisher is basically a, a, a flat belt sander. What is the point? There's times when he has the linisher sat there, you see him use it, and then the next thing you know is chucking up the fucking angle grinder in the vise next to the linisher to do the same kind of thing. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Sticking your drill or angle grinder in the vise is not a good idea. Right, it just isn't. It could potentially be really dangerous if you crack that casing and something shorts out, you've got to remember, yes, there's a plastic casing and all the rest of it, but there is the minimal chance. And the thing is, there is the minimal chance you've been electrocuted because the vice is, you know, the vice is steel. Now, what are the chances of that? Very, very little. But if you are dumb enough to start doing these things, you increase the likelihood. Now, I'm not one of these health and safety, you know, fucking police that go around going, you got to have this on, you got to have that on. You know, I'm not one of them guys at all. Well, as soon as I get an angle grinder, I take that guard off because them fucking stupid guards either get in the way, they flap around, or they're just, you can't see because of them. Um, you know, they're a small brackets and stuff, I will hold with my hands in the, in the drill, you know. And that's one of the big things you learn. <laughs> is you get like a plate or something, you go, ah, it's only thin, well, they're gonna be more grabby, get something to support it. A lot of the times I use the actual, um, the stand on a, a pedestrian drill or a pillar drill or whatever, you have the actual, um, the upright. And if it's quite long, I usually prop it against there and drill. So when, if it tries to ro rotate, it can't because that's in the way. But anyway, the fact of the matter is, is that there are not corners you can cut. What I'm saying is there are things that you can do and men have been doing for a long 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 time before all this nanny state bullshit and you know um but dremels i'll always use uh safety glasses and stuff like that with dremels i don't use a safety gla glasses with hammers stuff like that i just don't you know most of us don't we as adults should know where the line is now is there a chance that when you give something whack it explodes yeah and is there a chance it's going to go in your eye yeah there is of course there is but it's within the realms of whatever. If you buy decent punches and all the rest of it, they shouldn't just explode in your fucking hands. Usually they're cheap ones. The whole file thing, oh god sake. So he gets a rat tail file and he's, he basically drills a seven millimeter hole. Not sure why. He then says, oh, it's not big enough. I'm going to have to open it up. Yes, you get an eight millimeter, that's a good point, an eight millimeter drill. Have I got any eights kicking around? 
yeah, you see, there's my collection of eights. This is just in here as well. I've got a lot more of the fuckers, but there's my collection of eight millimeter drills. They're all brand new, I think. Well, four of them are. I have collections of drills. You know what I mean? What's this? This is uh, 5.5s. You see that? There's 5.5s there. It's just. You know what I mean? It's like. I, I, <laughs> And this is the bullshit. I've been, I've been fabricating for 30 years. I've been doing this. I've been doing that for fucking years. You haven't got an eight millimeter drill. Bull, bullshit, bullshit. You've been doing this for years. It, I don't. It doesn't mean that everyone has to have the kit. You know what I mean? There is the old adage that you know all the gear and no idea kind of bullshit. And I get that. But the fact of the matter is, sticking a drill, sticking a file in a drill. Dropping every time. every time. Files are extremely hard, right? They are extremely hard, and with hardness comes brittleness. You get a file, give it a whack against your vice, it is going to shatter, and it's not much of a whack you need to give it. You know what I mean? You get a rod, a drill rod, or something like that that hasn't been hardened or whatever, you can beat on that motherfucker all day. You know, files are hard. Don't stick it in a drill, because what that'll do is, if that grips too much, because it's tapered, if that grips too much, it's going to, and you're going to try and push it through with that drill, fucking drilling it for one, it's going to shatter. And when it shatters, it's going to shear like this, and your fucking hands are going to go straight into that broken bit. So his excuse based on that is, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll just do it really soft and really slow and be really careful and take half an hour to do it. Or just get your 8mm drill that you'd seem to not have and just fucking open the hole up. Here's the drill. This is the easiest way for me to explain it to you so you completely understand what's going on with your your bandit clutch. Um, just, uh, oh, you know, it's just... Oh, well, I'll tell you what, we'll just chop that to bits. Or we'll just do this. The, 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 the tool bit sharpening thing. You know, when you look at... I was talking, I did that video about drill bits and all the rest of it. Even after you sharpened it, what you have is you can see that there's this nice shiny bit there as this curls around, you know what I mean, as it curls around like that. But the fucking edge is battered. But this is all shiny. And he's like, oh, that's a good job. It's like, well, what the fuck is all this? That's not a good job. <laughs> Keep on going. Oh, it's taking too long. It's like, you, look, you're doing instructional videos. If you're doing instructional videos or showing people stuff, which is what that was, Let's see how well this thing can grind drill bits. All right, but you need to do the all the way to completion. I just I fucking don't get it. Uh, countersinking, let's get onto that countersinking. On the front of his drill, so you can see he's got, oh, fucking hell. There's basically the top cover like this. You can see a split line in there. That's a bad drawing. And then there's the bulk of the, the actual drill. You know what I mean, it has its, handle out here like this you know like that with your, your testicles on the edge and then you've got your, your actual main body like this and then down here is your quill with your actual uh, chuck on and all the rest of it on there right there fucking right there there's a drill chart <laughs> it sure it tells you it tells you on his own fucking drill this is drill speeds that's what it's telling you it's saying right in this gear, because in here, there's basically pulleys here, there might be an idle pulley, and then there's another pulley, and then the motor sits back here. And what you have is you have drive belts like this. Those changing sequences, and it'll be, the pulleys are like steps like this. Right. Like that. And they're labelled A, B, C and D, or whatever it's labelled, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. And that's what this chart is. This chart here is telling you these are the different speeds. He basically just, <laughs> he's got a deburrer for deburring stuff, deburring holes and what have you. If you've got slight little wisps you want to get rid of, then you deburr them with that. You've got a countersink, and the thing is, there's, it's changed over time. He had his work down here, and then he was countersinking it, and it was chattering like a knobhead. <laughs> That's ruining that tool. That tool will be fucked. That countersink is fucked. 
because it's chattered like that, right? It's intermittent cuts, and every time it does, the drill, the, the chuck gets up to speed and it claps that cutting surface into the metal. When you countersink stuff, and I'll show you a clip now from Keith Fenner. Keith Fenner's a guy who's a machinist. He lives in uh, east coast of America, up towards near the border between Scotland. I think he lives where the film Jaws. But anyway. <laughs> but anyway. Um, he, uh, you know, this guy's a machinist who's been there, done that, journeyman, apprenticeship, the lot. And when you do countersinking, it's very, very slow. Generally because a lot of countersinks have one cutting, uh, one cutting face. And it's got, in a sense, it's like peeling the skin of an apple. It's got a little nibble and it's got to slowly remove it. It's going like fucking, if I had to guess, that's 680 RPM. And ever so slightly, just come in and hit that good punch mark that I put in there and the same thing we're just gonna do a hand job on this It's like, he's just fucking one speed. And now he's doing this thing where he rocks it because it chatters like fuck. Whoa. The whole point, <laughs> just, just bear with me a second. The whole point is, is that it is this shape, right? It is a 45 degree uh, cut, right? Is a countersink. And it's this face here that does the cutting. If you've got a, what would you call that? From above, that would be a, a clockwise turn. It has relief and all the rest of it, just like our D-bit. Our D-bit could be used, that D-bit I made, that could be used as a countersink quite easily. A lot of hand countersinks are basically just like D-bits. Um, and this is a 45 degree angle. So why are you doing this? It, it, it's shape. <laughs> I know why you're doing that, so you can put little as pressure as fuck so it doesn't chatter. Why? Why? And the thing is, young lads aren't going to see that. They're going to see that, and they're going to fucking do that. And they'll get caught, just say if they're, you know, they're at college. Well, the thing is, you're not, though, that's the thing. You're not at college anymore. You're in your own garage and all the rest of it. And ugh, it's abusing your tools. You're like, these countersinks are shit. They get wiped out in no time. Visual weight as well as physical weight. But anyway, it doesn't matter. The whole point is, is that it's just... The abuse of tools really fucking annoys me you know what i'm like with it when it comes to tools of buying good stuff and um you know buy you know what is it buy once cry once that kind of thing oh just <laughs> every time i every time i see the drill bit thing happen i'm just like this is fucking awesome just everything is like at fucking a thousand rpm it's just like why are you doing this even as it in front of your face when you're drilling don't get it. Just don't fucking get it. Oh yeah, and that's the last one. I was trying to think of the last one. I was nearly stalling. Um, the last one is that fucking die. <laughs> I don't know why, but he sticks it in his die holder like this, and then he's holding a bolt with it, and then he cuts a fuck's sake. I don't know why. <laughs> just to put it in a nut and put it in the vice if you really need to. Do. I just, I, I just, it. <laughs> and let's get onto the lathe, right? So, no, fuck it. We'll do that in another video. I just don't know why. I just don't know why you do that. Next video, lathe time. Oh, fuck. Dropping every time. Every time.